Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 43 in chapter 21. Chapter 21 is about electric charge and electric field dense. So you can see in this system, we have two equal charge, Q1 and Q2, with the charge Q, right? Both of these charges are positive. At the position, this uh, x is L, y is 0, and x is negative L, y equal to 0. So we can consider this two call is a mirror symmetry, right? Failure to determine the electric field as a function of y for points along the y-axis. There, points along the y-axis means these points just along this line. So the x equal to zero for these positions. Agree? And then we need to determine the uh, field is maximum at the location. This one at this location. So how can we do that? We look at this uh, system. We can see, first one, we need to consider electric field at a position, this position. And for this position, we can see it is uh, just x equal to 0, y equal to y, right? So this uh, silence is y. And also, we can see the electric field at this position comes from the E1 and E2, right? This is addition for two vectors E1 and E2 to get the E. Now, how can we get the E2? E2 comes from the point charge Q2. So this is out radically outward. So we can write it as magnitude for E1, E2 is Q times the charge divided by distance squared. So distance we call it R. So E1 and E2, the magnitude equals, because Q equals, and the distance R equals, this is a mirror symmetry, right? And also we need to add these two vectors together. So that means we need to project E1 and E2 in X component, in Y component, agree? So we can call this angle is theta. So this is also angle theta, and this is angle theta, right? So for E2, we project it in X component, become E2 cosine theta. Project in Y component becomes E2 sine theta. So this one, we project it in X component, E1 cosine theta. Project in Y component, E1 sine theta. Agree? Yes. Uh, now we need to determine the distance R and angle theta. So for distance r is easy, we look at this triangle. So the side length this one plus the side length this one. So side length this one squared plus the side length y squared equal to r squared. So r squared equal to l squared plus y squared in this triangle, right? And also we can write the cosine theta. Cosine theta as l divided by r. Sine theta as y divided by r. Look at this one. Now we get all everything prepared. So we can write the electric field E1 as X component plus Y component. There we need to pay attention to this negative sign because E1 project in the X component is pointing to the left, the negative X component. So we can negative X direction. So we add the negative sign there. And similarly, we can get a vector E2 in X component and Y component in this way, right? Now we add these two vectors together. You can see that it looks like this one. And E1, E2, magnitude equals, right? So the, this term becomes zero. So the electric trick field dance just has the Y component survived with the magnitude equal to 2k, q divided by r squared sine theta, right? And then we input the r squared and theta, sine theta inside the function look like this one, and then it can be simplified as this one. So the magnitude for electric field dense at this position can be right in this way. Agree? Yeah. So the part A is done. Now, part B, we need to find the mass, the position where the electric field can be maximum. So it looks like for this function, you can see this is Y is independent variables. E is dependent variables, and key Q, L is a constant. 
So if you want to find the position y to make e maximum, very straightforward, we do derivation, right? So we can do derivation dE over dy, and then make the derivation dE over dy equal to zero. So we get this function. And simplify it to two key code, two key code, just cancel it, right? And then we get the simplified equation, look like this one. And then we can simplify it, get the answer, look like this one, equation look like that. And solve this equation, we get the answer there. Thank you.